Hello and welcome to another video on your YouTube channel Tech Talk with Niket. In this video, we are going to use how you can effectively use colors in data visualization. I will be sharing you a couple of rules that apply for different conditions. And I'll be demoing you some real time examples. Let's get started. The first and foremost rule that we have is intuitiveness. Always use intuitive colors. When choosing them, Consider what associations do they evoke. If possible, use colors that audience will associate with your data anyway. Like in this example, I'm showing land in blue and water in green. Ideally, it's the other way around. So keep in mind that whenever you have your data in such a manner, you make that change in a way that it becomes intuitive for the end user. Something like this. Next in the list, we have clarity. You should always use colors to make the data easier to read. Color is a double edged sword. And if not used properly, that might hurt you. This is the perfect example for that. Over here, we have different lines representing quantities sold for different regions. But we cannot identify which line represents which region. There is no clarity around it. But what if I color code each line for every region, something like this. And now you can pick and identify for which region the quantity is going up or down. This is what clarity is. It makes sure that your end audience can distinguish between the different items that are there in the visualization. Next, we have, we have moderation. Over here in this example, you'll find that we have different colors representing different subcategories. Yes, it is useful. But what if I want to identify or pick only a specific one and I want to highlight that? Say, for example, I want to focus on phones compared with others. This color code might not work for you. For that, adding a separate layer will really help. So what I can do is I can bring every other color of same type except for phone in this manner. I, and I can keep my phone a little highlighted so that it stands out like this. That's where moderation comes into picture, where for a simple data set, a single color is preferred for specifying the importance of that particular color. Next, we have classification. Over here, we have different bars representing different categories in different shades of green. It becomes very difficult for the end user to understand what exactly this is. To rectify this, I will add different colors for every category so that it becomes easier for the end user to not just understand the data, but to also it imprints out of it, something like this. Don't use a gradient color palette for categories like we were using earlier. And also, the other way around is different colors for same measurement that will again create a lot of confusion for the end user. So always go with the proper classification when it comes to the data that you have. Next is consistency. You would have heard the term consistency is the key, and that goes true for colors in data visualization as well. Use colors consistently. Change colors if you want your audience to feel the change for the specific reason, but never simply for the sake of novelty. Like in this example, you can see technology is of same color, but furniture is not consistent. So to make it consistent, I'll change the color over here so that everywhere in, um, in my dashboard, I have furniture of a standard color, something like this. So always go for consistent color within your views, within your dashboards, and change it only when you want your end audience to feel the difference by using color of a different type. And the last one in the list is explainability. Always make sure to explain your end audience 
what exactly color means. And an easy way of doing that is either you use a color legend or a color key. Like in this example, I don't know what these states are colored for. So I can add a little color legend over here to make it clear, something like this. Color legends play a very important and nice role in enhancing your view, making it effective. So these are a few rules about colors when you use in data visualization or data analysis. Always use them whenever you're working with data and color. I hope you have enjoyed this video. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and share. Till the next one, stay safe and happy learning.